in the city of Betaville. In the near future, the technology we developed confronts us. The science we created seduces us. But will our dreams of tomorrow be turned into a nightmare? Welcome to Paradox. Be careful what you wish for. Nothing is impossible anymore. In Betaville, society has come up with a new way to deal with criminals. A prison without walls. The new deterrent is a computer chip, but the chip and its champion are about to be put to the ultimate test by a new inmate who refuses to give up his most precious possession, his free will. Damn, man, that almost looks real. It was real. You been on a desert island or something? Yeah, baby, and I'm rested and ready. The only place you can find VR these days is an over 90s club. Look, man, I've been in a joint too long. I got a lot of catching up to do. Listen, when you bust out of prison, you the most security they watch for you. That's what they do. The cops are kind of funny that way. That's right. That's their job. <laughs> Come on. That's a little fun. No! Now, that's real. That's not a little fun. Come on, what are you, nuts? Just got quiet enough around here for you to be back in town. Come on, Ravel. I can handle this. Excuse me. Did do that to you? Why don't you save yourself some trouble? Go back to your friends. You had something you want to say to me? Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, maybe you've been plugging so many feelings into your head that you forgot real people feel real things. Oh, the sensitive type. Two-timing me, sweet cakes. God. You're right, three's a crowd. My mistake. Hey, you. Show me some identification. Real slow. Yeah. It's like grown-ups. Ravel! Hey, leave him alone. He's got nothing to do with this. Well, yeah. Looks like we got a real hero. Let's book them both. Go. What the hell they do to him? Ravel! Down. Please. here. These guards? It's with them. They seem kind of polite to me. The place is a summer camp. I'm out of here. Rec director. They're ready just in time for you. You can track their adjustment from the beginning. I'll give you complete access. I'll take it. That's very obliging of you, Warden. This facility represents the future of prisons, Miss Klein. 
from its reduced costs to the profound psychological impact on its inmates. I want the Betaville Council to learn everything there is to know about Clearwood. That's why I welcome your assessment. So you believe your methods actually encourage rehabilitation? Put the walls inside the prisoner. Before long, he begins to make them his own. When can I start my evaluation? As soon as they're settled. Why not bright and early in the morning? How does that sound? Excellent. There's one other thing I'm curious about, Warden, if you don't mind my asking. Please. What drives a man to make the devising of new penal systems his life's work? Sometimes a system is best defined by the character of its creator. A human society is like a child, Miss Klein. It thrives when it knows what the limits are. There are those of us who believe that enough to devise and impose those limits. Time loser gets his friend sent up with him because of his mouth. Oh, that's what the welcome wagon was doing out there. What is this anyway? Well, you'll learn. Knock him down the library. <laughs> okay, so what we do is we lease this plane, right? Make the whole passenger area into this nice pink boudoir, right? Start selling package deals, you know, take your own personal flight across the desert, you know, with your own private sweetheart. I provide that, of course, you know. Everything took off until we got to this until point. Until you run for president, get elected, and decide to serve from the joint. Well, this guy's a comedian. You know, you're a natural, man. Ah, forget him. Good little handball action going on in the yard. Bam! Win. I'm out of here. I can't help you if you're gonna lie to me. This is my last shot. I'm aware of that, Judah. That's why you gotta sit here and try to remember every detail. What's not going on out here? What you talking about? Well, it's just that there is no action. There's no bets, no smokes, nothing. Everything's by the book. Something ain't right. Nobody's saying what it is. Nobody told you what's going on around here? Yeah, some kind of biochip they put in everybody in the back of your throat. Yeah, but it sends connections up to your brain. This guy downstairs on the block, he tells me, if you stay in the yard, you're fine. But they got this machine out there on the tower that scrambles whatever the thing does. So if you try crossing this line of posts, you find out real quick what it's going to do to you. You know, that hard-ass cellmate of yours, he tried to make a run for it. He ended up in the hospital for six months with, like, nerve and muscle damage. Yeah, you got brain damage, too. Uh, maybe that's the plan here. Well, I ain't scared. Let's keep checking. All right. See you later. You're not the first one to think about it. You couldn't tell what all these sheep. They don't need to see another failure, Ravel. You know my name. Warden always tells us about the new arrivals. Fills us in on what to expect. I'm Franklin. No handshakes. Warden says so we can't pass contraband. I say so we don't feel like human beings. What do you think you are, the local charity? There are ways we can deal with this together. Some of us petitioned the district government, claimed the implants constitute cruel and unusual punishment. 
Took a lot of time for an inspector to come out, but... Well, Franklin, I'm really happy for you, and I hope you have a nice meet. Some too. Sorry about that, Miss Klein. Is that really necessary? And you ones have to learn. That's barely a taste. This is Inspector Sarah Klein from the district government. Some of you were petitioning for a government review of our methods. That's what she's here for. Miss Klein? The warden. Uh has assured me that you can can't all... hear you. ...about your experiences here. With no fear of any consequences, I... I would just like to encourage you to do so. I have several points I'd like to make with the Inspector Warden. I expect you would, Franklin. You'll get your chance. Anything to add, Miss Klein? No. I think I'll, uh, just start to have a look around. You. Bring him to my office, please. Burglary one. Aggravated assault. That guy had it coming. Grand theft auto. Either that or get shot. Resisting arrest twice and your escape from the state pen over in Betaville? Yeah, getting locked up, that's the worst crime of them all. And finally, assault on a federal law enforcement officer. If I had to custom make an inmate for Clearwood, I couldn't have done a better job. Yeah, we aim to please. If you ever even dream of intervening in another prisoner's punishment again, I'll throw you in the box so fast you think you died and went to hell. Do you understand me? The box? Isn't that like a hole? <laughs> I thought you were into more advanced approach here, warden. It's diverse. The guard said you were standing at the perimeter, looking things over. Nice open feel. Soothe the soul. I thought so, too. That's why I put the guard in there. Go ahead. Make a run for it. Test things out. It's been a while since anyone was that stupid. And the other inmates can always use a reminder. Hey, Max, you make. What was it like, man? What? You walk, what happened? I'm here, aren't I? I mean, was it? Was it just the pain? It's better. And let me know when so I can watch. Hey, I got a booze connection. Cigarettes, months time, the guards will be uh, setting us up Saturday night shakers. That's nice, Cole, that's real nice. Like you plan on staying here. What was that? No, don't do it. I'm with you. I can't. Nobody can. This place is a bomb with nowhere to blow. Yeah, but they're gonna drag your body back here for more. You heard what he said. That was just a little taste. Oh, they make dreams out there in the world with their machines. Then they put them in you like they're yours. I'm talking about holograms that look, touch, and feel real. Now they're trying to put them inside your head. <laughs> Only thing left is real is what you got inside. And I ain't about to let them take that from me.
What'd you do to me? Something for the pain. Not that. Before, when you pulled me off the yard. Biochip fuses with the nervous system. If it's set off, readjustments have to be made or there's a risk of permanent damage. Yeah, no kid. Activate the chip, and the intensity ratchets up. It gets to know you a little bit better. The more you try to escape, the better it knows you. And knows how to stop you. Like a woman. Even if by some miracle you'd have gotten across that field, you'd have never made it. Psst. I got somebody to take it out. That chip can't be removed without killing you. What about when I get out of here? Well, we deactivate it. Until the next time. It's more than that one tormented childhood, I can tell you that. Maybe you should start to take your situation a little more seriously, Mr. Ravel. You know, that's what my first, second, and third wives said. <laughs> Why did you do it? Why did you walk? Didn't you believe the chip would do what they said it would? Let me ask you something. What is a beautiful woman like you doing in a place like this? Well, maybe a device that controls you from the inside is exactly what you need. Well, like a conscience? Something like that, yeah. And who are you to be handing them out? I have a conscience. If you did, you wouldn't need one of ours. I don't need one. I just need a stiff drink and a woman that don't ask no questions. You know what I mean? We'll talk again before I go to see how you're getting on. Wait up, mate. Wait a minute. Okay, look. When I was 15, I used to sell tickets in the Feely District. Number of zombies coming in there all day. Why are you telling me all this? Because I said I'd blow my brains out before I let myself become like one of them zombies, and I haven't changed my mind. Does this usually win women's sympathies in your experience? Does. The world needs places like this for people like you. We simply extend the jammer's range at gardening time. The message is self-control, useful endeavor, discipline, create beauty. Both sides of the coin have to be learned and embraced. I intend to see this entire garden in bloom. The same garden that threatens them. Exactly. Depending on one's approach, the garden that terrifies blooms. I want to make that part of all these inmates so that one day they can leave here as free men. With chips in their head. Before you feel yourself troubled by misplaced sympathies, Miss Klein, remember the kind of men we're dealing with here. Difficult problems require difficult solutions. This gardening work fosters a spirit of cooperation. Your friend Cole had the whole yard dead on how far you'd make it. I wouldn't expect any different. Sorry to hear that. Different kind of friend than I'm used to, I guess. I got him in here. He might as well make something more for us. Well, he did. So did everybody else who didn't think you'd last 30 yards. Surprised he had anybody to bet against. You never know what a man's capable of by how he looks. Always somebody willing to take the long odds. Save your breath. Well, being bet on like a damn animal, that really do it for you? Man, all the appeals and petitions in the world ain't gonna get these things out of our heads. So go on and plant the warden's plant. like you're gonna kill yourself, I gotta move on. How'd you like to really kick some ass? Well, I'd rather get some than kick some. With enough cash, that too. What are you talking about? I'm walking again. Uh, that thing make you stupid, too? What kind of odds you think you can get on me since the last time? A million to one. Only who's gonna bet on you? You. Uh, well, like a big staircase is gonna come down out of the sky and carry you away? 
Now, you haven't been listening. This is it. Nobody makes it out there, huh? Nobody. How long you been knowing me? Long time. OK, this is what I'm going to do. I get myself hurt. I lift some painkiller from the clinic. I know I can make it halfway to the road. That's all you got to believe, halfway. You take a long shot, we kill him, make him cry. I know I can do it. You don't want to make it all the way? I've been listening. I can't do what I can't do. Then for what? Come on, Cole. Take this chip stuff too seriously. It's going to kill you for sure. Hey, Ravel. Makes you crazy the second time out. Bust you right open. How do you think I know? I'm looking forward to it. When's it gonna be? I'll oh, surprise you guys. A couple of the boys are starting to take the long odds. You think you can do this? Look, my lips are sealed, man. I'm not trying to influence you. Ravel, you realize not one of them is thinking about what this is gonna do to you? What the hell, cool. Put me down for 10 on the wild path. All right. Something I want you to get for me. Right? We're closed. Make you think you cover me, boy. This is, this is, you don't know nothing about this. Come on, get on, dude. Get on. Come on, what's up? What's up? You've been in jail too long, father. You don't know nothing about this. Y'all tell you to get back. Shot's gonna get himself some medicine, do he? I don't know what you're talking about. If old Franklin only knew what he just did. What are you gonna do with all the cash, anyway? Get yourself a little painkiller from the clinic. Doc's a friend of mine. We've both been here since the beginning. He knew? He's a con. Chipping everything. He works for the warden. Uh, he's working off his time. Just like Franklin. Just like me. Well, what's gonna happen after? After they all see what's left of you. They're gonna crawl back into their holes. You're gonna make everybody feel just a little bit smaller. Meg, you breaking my heart. <laughs> Big stones don't mean much when you're dead. We would have spoken sooner, Franklin, but I wanted to observe the facility objectively and come to my own conclusions. That mean you already have? I have to tell you, I've never seen a better run facility. At what cost? None. If the men abide by the rules like the rest of us, I fail to see a problem here. Men aren't men anymore with these devices planted in their heads. And they never can be again. They can still leave prison and become productive members of society. Like dogs trained with electrical shocks. Where do you think this ends? With prisoners? How about anybody who doesn't act just right? What would you do? Some of these guys are hopeless, but the rest of them, they need to see there's more to life than how hard you are or how easy you are to train. Show them. Society just might get as much out of it as they do.
Unfortunately, reality doesn't quite measure up to your ideal. It was my understanding you were going to visit the prison over the course of several weeks before making up your mind. I'm just staying a few days to implement the warden's approach throughout the district. What would make you do something like that? For example, this man Ravel, a man completely lacking in remorse, lacking in any sense of, of what behavior is and isn't appropriate. Take your medicine. Get rid of the evidence. Flushed. All right, I'm ready when you are. You, you say a man isn't a man with one of these devices inside of him. After speaking with this Ravel, I have to ask myself, is he a man without one? <laughs> Get up, you son of a bitch. You barely got started. Take it easy. We ain't done yet. Gonna stop this. Wait till he's finished. You look upset, Franklin. Anticipating the consequences? You're gonna have to kill this one to stop him. And he doesn't even know why. It's like something wild. Miss Klein, do you really want to destroy that? the box where everybody can see him and leave him there. speaks to him, no one brings him anything to eat or drink. I make myself clear. He'll have a good long time to think about it. So will you. That's it? That's the box? No, man. The box is in his head.
haven't heard a sound out of him in a week. The warden's just gonna leave him in there to die? He'll let him out before then. How do you know? More useful to him alive. I never should have listened to his crazy ass scheme. I'll take the water, please. Back off. You don't want to get mixed up in that. You remember what I told you, Ravel? We're all in this together. Hey, Franklin, get over here. Remember, Ravel. Franklin. What the hell is he doing? Stay where you are. Don't do it, man! Nobody makes a move! Come back, man, don't do it! Well, he's dead. Weak heart. Now, why would a man like Franklin pull a stunt like that, hmm? As if you care. Well, never mind. I wanted to thank you. You see, Franklin was a real pain in my ass. We'll be seeing a lot more of each other over the next 10 years. Mr. Meggs, keep a special eye on our friend here for me, will you? Yes, sir. Good. Miss Klein. getting out S spent all his time trying to get the rest of us out why did he just try now you really don't know to make what you did mean something poor sucker never did get what he was after I've completed my review Mr. Ravel I must say, it's been a very interesting stay. I'm glad you had a nice time. Goodbye. I did want to speak with you again before I left, as I said I would. Haven't you milked this thing enough already? Milked what? Come on, give me a break. I was paid to for you. Make your little job nice and easy, all your little tough decisions. Too bad Franklin had to come along and complicate. But I'm sure you'll get through that, won't you? Franklin saw things a little differently than you. Even believed he could change someone like you. Now, thanks to you, the idea of any resistance is crushed completely. The warden wins, hands down. Do you have any feelings about that? Wait a minute. You brought me in here to ask me that? Suppose I did. I don't feel a damn thing. Do you? Well, then, I won't waste any more of your time. No shaking hands with the animal.
they'll do this to every joint in the district now. At least we don't have to get one of these suckers put in us twice. Sad in the end. Effective, but sad. What's sad is seeing someone being forced to submit to a will other than their own. I just can't help wishing things were different. What, that inmates could be subdued? No, no, I'm speaking theoretically. Well, unfortunately, we have to deal in realities, Miss Klein. I have my job, you have yours. Hey, Ravel, come sit down and take a load off. I'm exactly the kind of broad to pine after, you know what I mean? Yeah, just a second. Something I gotta do. gonna stop. Look at them. All right, but it'll take a while. A lot of muscle and nerve damage to repair. Mr. Ravel, are you back with us? And thank God to be. You almost weren't. You're a lot tougher than you look. You're a lot softer than you look. I've recommended that the device never be used on anyone again. I wanted you to know that. Your friend, Franklin, would be very proud of you. What's that? You did something for a reason. You did something for other people. Yeah, I guess uh, somebody's doing things are better than others. Yeah. Try to remember that. Good. Thank you, Mr. Ravel. Doc, did I have to tell you about the time I sold the same house to 10 different people? It would have worked. It was, it was an expert plan, but they all showed up to close the same time. It was... almost did it. Betaville authorities just learned there is no technology or force more powerful than the human spirit. And Stephen Ravel has learned that a man can defeat incalculable odds if he truly believes in something. Welcome to Paradox. 